Hey you guys, okay, so in this video, I'm just doing, I guess something that some people over, uh, overlook. That's cleaning your mattress, like the actual mattress. And so since this is the perfect time, uh, I'll just end up washing like the bed sheets, linen as well, since I think they said every two weeks you're supposed to wash that too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take all this off so I can get to the mattress. Okay, so once you get everything off the bed, next thing you're gonna do is vacuum. All right, and I know this is not the same vacuum that you saw in the thumbnail, but uh, don't worry, I'll switch over to that one later. So you're just gonna start vacuuming, and make sure you do the entire bed. Next thing you want to do is then mix all the ingredients together. So what you're going to need is hydrogen peroxide, uh, a drop of dish soap, baking soda, um, and a spray bottle. So what you're going to need, your first ingredient is three tablespoons of baking soda. Eight ounces of hydrogen peroxide. Also, make sure you don't make this until you're ready for it, because they say to, to spray it on immediately after making it. Uh, and then last, one drop of dish soap. All right, so you're gonna put on your top. Shake it up. And let's go spray. Also, another reason why we're doing this is because um, you know your mattress holds on to a lot of things like allergens, dust, dust mites. Uh, different viruses, bacteria, and even uh, fungal spores. So this is a great way to clean the bed. So those that are spring cleaning, this would be a great idea too. All right, so you're just gonna spray it over the whole bed.
All right. And then you're going to come back periodically just to check on it to make sure that it um that is completely dry so you can come back and vacuum it one more time. All right. So, we need an hour. You see, it's pretty much all dried to the touch. And now the last step is revacuuming. Clean. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys.